a catastrophic bombshell breaking right now, this instant about the Biden family that could cripple Joe Biden's presidency forever. This could end it. Here we go. Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, the first son, a member of the first family, is caught dead to rights with screenshots using the N-word multiple times, sharing racist memes multiple times, sharing racial stereotypes multiple times times. This is a catastrophic, devastating blow that may absolutely cripple Joe Biden's messaging and presidency forever. This is the big one reported in multiple outlets across the country and across the globe, breaking in the Daily Mail this instant. The Daily Mail reports, and I will read to you directly from the report so that we don't get any of these details wrong. I do not want to get lost in opinion here at all. I will have a comment afterwards. Let's read the story. From the Daily Mail, one of the largest news publications in the world. Exclusive, Hunter Biden addressed his white lawyers as a N-word multiple times. Used phrases like, true that N-word, and bantered, I only love you because you're black in shocking texts unearthed days after Joe's emotional Tulsa speech decrying racism. Here we go. These are the bullet points top line from the article. Text messages obtained by the Daily Mail reveal Hunter Biden used the N-word multiple times in banter with his lawyer who is white. The president's son, 51, flippantly addressed his corporate attorney, who is white, by the racial slur and phrases including true dat n-word. In December 2018, a conversation, Hunter asked his lawyer, how much money do I owe you because n-word, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates, a racial slur. In another chat a month later, Hunter cracked jokes about his private parts and then told his lawyer, I only love you because you're black. It is annoying when you interject with frivolity, his lawyer replied. The damning texts have emerged just days after his father, President Joe Biden, gave a speech decrying racism on the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa massacre. Joe Biden sought to portray racial justice as a top priority for his administration. Hunter also saved a meme with a photo of his father hugging Barack Obama with the caption, Obama says, I'm going to miss you. Joe says, can I say it just once? And Obama says, go ahead. And Joe says, you my N-word, Barack. That was what Hunter Biden was sharing as you all were probably following the news and the recent breaking stories. Joe Biden spent an enormous amount of time eulogizing and talking in Tulsa at the 100th anniversary about racial justice has ceased to spend an entire day without mentioning white supremacy and racism, systemic racism in this country, often villainizes white people and often calls the Republican side of the aisle racist. Fact check, the Democrat governor of Virginia right now wore blackface, wore KKK garbs. The Democratic Party, of which Joe Biden is a part of, had the last known KKK member, Robert Byrd, in it, of which Joe Biden sponsored multiple bills with and called him a great friend, eulogized him at his funeral. And now Joe Biden's own son is on the record, and there are lots of screenshots, things like that, from the article. They have it right here. It's all recorded. It's all been verified. It's been recorded now by NBC and Politico. Screenshots of his own son. Just to reiterate, these are verified his own son using racial slurs, in, including one of the ugliest in the country, the N-word. It's hard to think of something more catastrophic to Hunter Biden or to Joe Biden's family and their agenda, but I'll stop by saying this in conclusion. You have heard Joe Biden with regularity talk down to black people, say extremely offensive things about black Americans, and often throughout his entire history in public office, 
was very happy himself to use racial slurs and racial stereotypes. These things are learned in a family. These things are not something that go unabated. Hunter Biden learned them from somebody, and he probably learned them from the big guy, if you remember Hunter Biden's texts. Joe Biden is someone whose chickens are coming home to roost right now, and it often is in the state of politics, the things that you are guilty of is the thing that you accuse your opponents of the very most. Joe Biden and his son Hunter are guilty as sin. You can check the tapes. We've done shows on them, and now you can see the text messages. I've tried not to err too much into opinion here. I want to be careful on stories like this, read to you directly from the source, and just sprinkle in exactly how I know it happens. This is how it happens. These things are trained up. This kind of disrespect comes from the top down in families. And when you have a patriarchy like Joe Biden's, you got to know where it comes from. A damning day for the Biden family, a horrific day for this presidency. It's hard to think of any day that could have gone worse, starting with Kamala this morning, ending with Hunter here. Catastrophic.